morning, thanks very much for joining me. Welcome to part two of my Q&A video. Um, today I'm going to be answering your questions that you post me on Facebook, on my Facebook page, which is linked below if anybody wants to follow me on there. And I must remember to take a breath because if you can't, <laughs> can't talk if you can't breathe. That was a super long sentence. <laughs> Right, the first question. Right, let's get straight into it. The first question is from Erin J. Scorgi. Hope I've pronounced that right, Erin. And it says, do you enjoy cooking or just see it as another chore? Um, I, I quite enjoy cooking. Funnily enough, I'm enjoying cooking more than I have for a while during this lockdown period. I'm enjoying creating food to nourish my family, which sounds stupid because that's what you do all the time, but just feels more important during this time to make nice, tasty, enjoyable food that everybody really enjoys. And um, yeah, I've, I feel like I'm refinding my love of cooking through this um, lockdown period, which is nice. And during normal normal times, um, I tend to do most of the day-to-day -day cooking and Ashley does the sort of weekend more special, nice, exciting dinner party and that sort of thing, all that sort of cooking. Um, so I do get bored of the day-to-day, -day, oh God, what should we have for dinner and the, the humdrum evening meal after a day's of work, day of work cooking that. But yeah, I've definitely refound my enjoyment of cooking and um, I'm hoping that the shortages of certain things will ease a little bit so we're able to get things so I can create new recipes that I want to give a try and um, that sort of thing so yeah that's the answer to that question um Denise Paris asks what is your favorite holiday destination I think I covered this in the first part of my Q&A which I will link up here if you haven't seen it um but basically my favourite European destination is Greece and the Greek islands. Absolutely love Greece. We go back so often and really enjoy it. And there's always new parts to explore and new places to go. Um, and out of Europe, I would say probably the Maldives. Absolutely love the Maldives. Very lucky to have been there five times. So, yeah. Um, Dawn Hall asks, this is a really good question. What do you and Ashley argue about the most? I would say we nitpick at each other. There's no big issues around which we argue particularly. Um, just little things that get on our nerves about each other. Um, and one of us will snap at the other and then it will, depending on what mood the other one is in, it will provoke a bit of a, you know... But row, but yeah, nothing that I can think of particularly that comes up again and again. Um, we used to argue about money more than we do now. Um, we both have, we keep our finances completely separate. I've talked about that in another video in the past, I think. Um, we don't have any joint finances, which has alleviated that issue of arguing about money that we did have. Um, really, when we first moved in together, we were finding a way, finding our way through. Um, I guess, but um, yeah, there's no issues that we really are. I should ask Ashley this question, shouldn't I? Let me see if he's around. He's not around, but I will endeavour to ask him in a vlog sometime, so see what he says, see if he agrees with me. Maybe he won't agree with me and we'll have an argument about it. Um, Christina Griffiths says, I want to know more about what it's like living in Devon. I love talking and have had enjoyable holidays there. I guess the holiday traffic is a nuisance though. Where do you go on a family day out and why do you stay in hotels a lot? Um, right, what's it like living in Devon? It's actually kind of nice during this period because I would rather be in a not so built up area, which we are. Um, I find living in Devon a double-edged sword. I'm not from Devon originally. I moved down here to live with Ashley um, when I was 26. And I find it a bit far away from everything. I'd like to be closer to London. I'd like it not to be such a major trip to go to London for a weekend, really. Um, I'm not a massive countryside person, so that doesn't really interest me, The bit being near the countryside. I'm, I'm much more of a townie kind of person although it is nice to have the countryside on your doorstep as well I guess it's best of both worlds so uh, I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about living in Devon I guess <laughs> it has some high points 
we don't live in Torquay, we live um, in a market town um, a little way away from Torquay and um, where our town isn't particularly touristy so we don't get, the surrounding areas are but our actual town isn't particularly a holiday hotspot. Um, is the holiday traffic a nuisance in the summer? Yes, but I avoid going out in it. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have to commute or anything, so um, I'm sort of, what's the word, cosseted from that, I guess. So, yeah, it can be. We tend not to do very much at the weekends in the summer. On the weekends, we're at home because, um, yeah, holiday traffic. So that does sort of limit us a bit. Um, sorry, what was the next part of that? Where do you go on a family day out? We don't go on lots of family days out, really. We did when William was younger, but he's 20 now. He doesn't want to go on a family day out with us. And he's at uni most of the time. Just before this coronavirus thing started, um, Ashley and I had bought annual tickets to the zoo. I think I might have mentioned this before. The local zoo, and it also gives us access to a couple of other local attractions as well. Um, Paynton Zoo, this is. Um, and... We were looking forward to going to the zoo on a more regular basis. We really like it almost just for a walk around, not to, I mean, it's nice seeing the animals as well, but it's quite a big place and just for a little walk on a Sunday or whatever. Um, so <laughs> obviously we're not able to use those at the moment, but um, we don't really go for big days out particularly. So um, yeah, I can't really answer that one. Um, why do you stay in hotels a lot? Because we enjoy it, simple as that. Um, we tend to go more in winter when you get good deals to stay in various nice places. And um, yeah, we just really enjoy it. Um, Kaz Chapman asks, what is your favorite meal? And I would, it's hard because it depends what mood you're in, doesn't it? I really like a good fish and chips, really from the chip shop. But um, I think probably one of my favourite meals, one that I don't cook myself is definitely the answer. Um, Ashley cooks a really nice pasta dish. We call it carbonara, but it's actually nothing like carbonara. It's ham and mushroom and cream and parmesan cheese and white wine and loads of garlic um, and parsley. And just really, really nice. That's one of my favourites. We have that with garlic bread. It's probably the most calorific, carborific meal in existence, but it's bloody delicious. Ashley, no. come here a minute. I'm doing a q and A. I'm filming at the moment, so don't swear. <laughs> Not badly anyway. And somebody wants to know, just let me tell you what the question is. What do we argue? What do you and Ashley argue about the most? Do you want to come and sit down so you can, or go behind me so you can be on camera? No, you don't. We, we don't argue, we have the perfect marriage. Turn you around very easily. To... I can come to you. Yeah. All right, then. We have the perfect marriage. Look, here, here we are having here the we perfect are. marriage. We are, we are. <laughs> Coronavirus is. I don't know, dream of love. Oh, whatever. No. No, seriously, no. what do you think we argue Never. about the most? I said that we mostly. Oh, sorry, I got really nervous. I said that we mostly nitpick about little things. Something will set us off, but nothing major. We don't. The thing is, <laughs> one of us thinks they are never wrong. This is the problem. Um, <laughs> I'm not saying which one it is, but it causes the arguments. That's so not true. I'm so good at admitting when I'm wrong. I really am. I always admit when I'm wrong. Ah, is that right? Yes, you don't. You really don't. When you're wrong, you don't admit it. Give me an example of what I can't wrong. think of one off the top of my head, can I? See, I've never been wrong. <laughs> right, <laughs> off you go now. <laughs> right, Suzanne, I cut, I've cut off the Purvis Perkins, I think it is, um, says, do you live stream your video chat with the eBay ladies? Um, there is one that is live streamed every Friday. I'm only in that very occasionally um, on various different channels. Um, but the ones we do, we've been doing during the day, they're just private chats. Um, anyone can jump on from the chat group we're in. There's about 10 or 12 of us in it, I think. And um, just really to pass a bit of time of day, particularly at the moment while... Um, you know, coronavirus is going on. Sort of a ladies' coffee morning, I think they generally call it. Um, she also asked me where my great. She says my great great grandparents are from Scotland. Where are yours from? Um, it's quite an interesting one. My father's parents. 
Now that's my grandparents, isn't it? I honestly don't know. Um, well, my grandmother was on my father's side. They were originally from Wigan, I think, up north. Um, I think. Didn't know the, my paternal grandparents on my dad's. I never met my grandfather on my dad's side because he left when my dad was a little boy and moved to Canada and my dad never saw him again. Nice story that, wasn't it? <laughs> Very enjoyable. Um, so I don't know about that. And then on my mum's side, um, again, I never knew my grandfather because he left my grandmother before my mum was born. I'm hoping to do a video with my mum about um, her family, actually, because it's a really interesting story. And that's just made me think I might do try and do that on a chat, a Skype chat with her, if I can record that. I might try and do that while we're in lockdown. That's quite a good idea. Sorry, completely off at a dive. Um, so my great grandparents on that side, I think they were from London area, from my mother's mother's parents. I didn't meet them either. They were died before um, I was born. Um, I did, I've only ever met one of my great grandparents actually, which was my grandmother's mother on my dad's side so that was that was not a particularly helpful answer was it but a lot of them buggered off before i ever got to meet them so that was my grandparents were two half my grandparents left before i got to meet them and before either of my parents got to meet them kind of thing really pretty much anyway <laughs> that was a rambly answer wasn't it um jane wathan asked me do you have naturally have such a positive outlook or do you work at it I don't naturally have a positive outlook at all. What you see on here is probably the best of me, if I'm honest. Um, I have to work quite hard at being positive about things. I'm naturally very glass half empty. And I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't naturally have a particularly positive outlook. I think I've got a bit better as I've got older, uh, having a more positive outlook, but yeah nat naturally my glass will always be half empty rather than half full generally speaking but i do try and turn it around obviously i'm doing quite well if you think I, if, if you guys perceive it perhaps i'm wrong perhaps i do have a more positive outlook than i perceive but it's an interesting one isn't it um wendy drame i hope i've pronounced that right says um Oh, that's not a question. That's not a question. Sorry, that's just a comment. Um, right. Claudia Lakidara, Lakidara, I think, <laughs> asks, it seems like you've travelled a lot. I have travelled a lot. I used to work on cruise ships from, for four and a half, five years, but when, between I was, when I was 20 and 25. Um, have you been to Hawaii? Yes, I have been to Hawaii. That was when I was on the cruise ships. Really enjoyed it. Went to several of the islands. We were doing a South Pacific um, run from Honolulu down through the South Pacific. And um, uh, yeah, I got quite familiar with several of the Hawaiian islands. And it's somewhere that I've always wanted to go back to, but it's quite inaccessible for us from the UK. It's a jolly long way, isn't it? It's the furthest part of America from here um, that we could go to. So maybe one day, who knows? Um, Yvonne Dowling asks, what was your reaction to poor Boris getting a positive test result? Poor Boris, bless him, as if he just didn't need that on top of everything else, did he? Um, I gather that he's quite well. I hope, I hope he's quite well. I haven't heard loads about it. I have been looking out for tidbits when I have watched the news, although I don't watch loads of news, as you know. Um, so just wish him well and um, hope he's not feeling too ropey and is back to full strength very soon. Um, oh, just turn that around. Linda Spence says, love watching your holiday vlogs, your vlogs, especially the holiday ones. Love the New York one. Where's your favourite place? City-wise, let's do my favourite city because I've talked about favourite holiday destinations. I really love Sydney, Australia, and I really love Vancouver in Canada. Um, loads of european cities are really nice as well but those are two that i went to on my cruising days on my cruise ship days and would like to revisit one day maybe you never know heather mitchell mclean asks what are your favorite childhood memories um 
too many to mention. I think I've done a blog post on this, but I had a really happy childhood. Um, my parents are still together, as you know. Um, I have one brother who's four years younger than me. Lots of happy memories, particularly of coastal walks. That's one of my family Christmases, is what we, which we actually spent with friends, but um, family Christmases is one of my happiest childhood memories. And also coastal walks with my parents and my brother um, on the beautiful Jurassic Coast in Dorset. I've got lots of happy memories of those. Um, did you and your brother get along well? Hell no. Hell no, we did not. Um, we really didn't get on well, well into our 20s. And even, not so much in the last 10 years perhaps, but or five years, but if we spend too much time together, when we go on our family holidays, Nick and I can very easily rub each other up the wrong way. Um, that's not to say, I've, I feel like we've maybe become closer in the last couple of years as my parents have needed more support as they've become more elderly i feel like I've, i really like having nick to rely on and i hope he feels the same way about things as me that that's having that sibling bond there is absolutely priceless um with your parents getting more elderly and um it's someone else who feels the same as you do, isn't it? They have the same emotions as you and there's nobody else in the whole world that is going through that exact same situation as you. And that's really nice. And that makes me really sad more than anything that William doesn't have a brother or sister um, because I think that is something in life that is quite a nice thing to have and he won't have that. Oh, I get upset if I think about that anymore. Um... Heather asked, did I, Heather also asked, did I have a favourite book as a child? Um, I loved Enid Blyton's books when I was a young child and I think probably my favourite books were the Chalet School series by Eleanor M. Brent Dyer. That's a mouthful, isn't it? I've still got my childhood Chalet School books. It was a great long series of books. Um, I think there were 50 odd uh, set in a girls school in I think it was originally in Austria and then moved to Switzerland and oh I loved those books absolutely loved them really really enjoyed them I've still actually got them somewhere um Ashley and I Ashley and I gradually going through the house while we're on lockdown and decluttering everything and finding everything and I haven't seen those books it, they're in a box I haven't seen them since we moved into this house so perhaps we'll come across them and I will show you them if um if I find them um, Carol Barrett says that I'm in her top five people to watch, which is very flattering. Thank you so much, Carol. Um, she's curious to know my favourite alcoholic drink. Cocktail-wise, I love a margarita. I'm a big tequila fan. Um, Ashley makes me a really nice margarita. I don't like them too sweet. I like just lime juice, Cointreau and tequila. No sugar syrup or anything like that in them. Ooh, no, hell no. Um, and wine-wise, I'm a white wine girl and I like a really nice, crisp, cold Pinot Grigio. Jane Baldrick asks, what's your favourite activity that takes your mind off things? Um, I've really been enjoying jigsaws and probably YouTube the last couple of weeks. I've watched quite a lot of YouTube and I'm working my way through all the channels that were recommended on my video the other day. Um, I will link that in the corner if you haven't seen it. Um, there was Go through the comments on that if you're looking for new channels to watch because there were literally loads in there. I've made a big list of them and I'm watching videos from all of those at the moment as I do my jigsaws. So um, that's a really good activity to keep my mind off things. Jane Young asks what things do I like to crochet and what wool do I use I'm going to show you something I crocheted because I came across it recently this is something I crocheted I haven't crocheted properly for a few years um, but this is a blanket that I crocheted for the lounge at our old house this was the colours I had in the lounge and um, the edge of it you can see um yeah, I really like those colours and I lo like the circle motif. I really like crocheting blankets. Um, I've never crocheted anything to wear. I crocheted a little handbag once, but I didn't keep that. I gave that away. Um, mo mostly sort of granny square in quote squares in different um, patterns. 
mostly blankets that would be my favorite thing I've, I've done a scarf i've got like a snooty scarf i made myself um i also made loads of snowflakes i think i might have showed them in one of my christmas um what do you call it vlogmas that's it my vlogmas videos um sorry i, I should have turned the sound off on my phone before i started this uh yeah my vlogmas videos um i show that that i have like a garland on the mantelpiece and i put the snowflakes that i crocheted one year i did a crochet along um and we cro crocheted two snowflakes every month and um i got them all i put them out at christmas and i really enjoyed doing that but i'll turn my hand to anything crochet wise i'm really planning to pick up my hook again at some time during this jane also asked what wool do i like to use i tend to use a cheapish acrylic wool this one is a cheap acrylic wool um just because well can be expensive can't it and that's perfectly adequate for me i'm quite happy with how that looks so um i'm not i'm not a wool snob at all <laughs> and I'm, I'm more about the color than the um fabric if that makes sense dory robertson us a uh, re robertson in fact sorry all my uh, <laughs> shall i start that again dory robinson no <laughs> take three <laughs> Doreen Robertson asks a really interesting question. What do you like most about yourself? I really like my eyes and I didn't realise how much I like my eyes until I started making videos and... Um... Shh. <laughs> Let's turn the sound off. I really didn't realise until I started editing myself it, making videos and editing myself I didn't realize how much I like my eyes and I feel like they're one of my best features um with regard to personality I like my sense of humor <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna say my sense of humor makes me laugh mm, yeah okay um I like my sense of humor and I'd like to think that I am a reliable fairly loyal person I think that's probably one of my best attributes if I say I'll do something I will do it generally and I think there's not enough of that in the world we went a bit deep there didn't I um Sheila Sloan says if you were told you had to live anywhere in the world not in the UK where would it be and why um I want it to be somewhere English speaking because I don't speak particularly well any foreign languages um I think it would probably be Australia on the basis that I think that's got nicer weather than the UK, <laughs> decent weather, and is pretty similar. I think the outlook of people there is pretty similar to the UK. It's a long way away though, isn't it? Nicer weather though. Yeah, I think it would be Australia. And that's it, we've got to the end. That was a lot of questions, wasn't it? <laughs> I feel like I've rambled on for ages. Um, there will be a part three of this because I've got a lot more questions from Instagram to answer and there might, but I might split that into two otherwise it's going to be super long but I um, hope you enjoyed this thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye bye